Yo guys, Features Gaming here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today it is going to be a super updated tutorial on how you can download Truckers MP to play Euro Truck Simulator 2 multiplayer on your computer because I'm still getting questions to this day from about two years ago from when I did the first uh, tutorial on how to download Truckers MP. I'm still getting questions to this day on how I can solve these problems so I'm going to solve all of them questions and just show you an updated tutorial today. So before you do anything make sure that you downloaded Euro Truck Simulator 2 from Steam on your profile you can't use family sharing you can't download it from another website and then import it onto steam it will not work so make sure you have euro truck simulator 2 downloaded on your steam account and make sure that you have played at least a couple hours on it now if you've made sure that you've done both of them things you want to set your steam profile to public and also your game te and also your game details too now if you don't know how to do that i'm going to take you over it quickly so click on your name in the top right and go down to view my profile from here you are just going to want to click edit profile and then once it loads up you're going to want to go to my privacy settings and then you want both my profile set to public and you also want game and you also want game deal game game details on public too i cannot speak today so once you have done both of them things you should be set to download truckers mp but before we go onto the website and download it i want to show you guys a few tips on what you should do in order to do some of the steps later on so where it says euro truck simulator 2 in your games bar in the top in the left here you're going to run a right click on your truck simulator 2 and you're going to want to go down to properties and then you want to go to local files and then browse local files if you click that it will take you to the folder where your euro truck simulator 2 is installed so not the documents folder where it stores all of your profiles your mods you are just wanting to get the installed um folder on steam on your thing if that makes sense so basically all you want to go all you're going to want to do is just copy this taskbar right here whatever it's called so Control c to copy it and then in a notepad or something just paste that in if you have ats as well you are going to want to do this with ats2 so the same thing you just want to right click properties local files browse local files and then copy that and then paste it in here now these location files are actually going to be very important for when we do the step later on so once you've done all of those things it's time to hop over onto the browser onto the truckers mp website and download this mod now the reason i say mod is because this is actually a mod it's not like it's not an it's not an official thing made by scs software that was made for euro truck this is a company that's made a multiplayer server for euro truck so it is technically a mod but it's it's another application overall so what you're going to want to do before you do anything on this website you are going to have to make an account now it's completely free there is no money needed if it asks you for a credit card thing then you are either on the wrong thing or you've done something that you not that you've not supposed to have done so make an account it's completely free i think you need to enter your uh your email that you use for your for your um for your steam account and and password and then you need to go through an uh, an authentication thing and then once you've done all that you've authenticate you've authenticated sorry truckers mp with steam then you should be ready to download this mod so click on download and scroll down and then you should see this thing right here download the client installer for truckers mp now guys only download truckers mp from this website right here i'll leave a link in the description to the download page so you know which one you need to download because i do not want you guys downloading the wrong thing and possibly putting a virus on your computer so download truckers mp from this website i can't em emphasize that enough download truckers mp from this website no other website should be used so just click download and then it should download and then you are going to want to click to open the the zip file i don't think you really need to unzip it so you just double click install truckers mp exe and then you are going to want to go through the um the uh, installation process so yes and then welcome to the truckers mp launcher setup wizard so just click next 
and then I accept the agreement next again uh, yes that's why that's where I want it to store and then I have both ETS2 and ATS if you don't have ATSA for example then you're going to want to then you are going to want to untick that same if you don't have ETS2 then you're going to want to untick that but I'm pretty sure all of you guys are watching have ETS2 otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on this video so you just want to click that and then ATS if you don't have ATS but I do have ATS so I'm going to leave that ticked then you're going to want to click next and then this is where we set these um, things earlier on. So it says please select your American Trucks Simulator directory. Now these are the directories we set earlier. So this is asking for our American Truck one. So we need to go ahead and copy all of this to the d dot dot forward slash. We want to copy that go back to the installation process and then you're going to want to paste that in then click next and then it says please select your Euro Truck Simulator 2 directory same thing as ATS copy it open this up and then paste that in now loads of people have been commenting on some of my recent tutorials on this game on this tutorial sorry um, saying it's saying it says it's an it's an invalid path or something make sure you do the step at the beginning guys to make sure you are getting the right folder so make sure you do that okay then click next and then yeah i just wanted to do that create a desktop icon and then just make sure this is all right it is install finish and now you have and now basically you have trucks mp on your computer now i think only one person has told me that they can't write the at sign on truckers mp so if that does happen then open notepad or something like that and type in your email address that you used to sign up to truckers mp and then just copy your email address and then paste it in to where you have to log in i'll show you what i mean by that and also before you go on to truckers mp you might have to install some available updates so make sure you do that and also guys while this is downloading make sure that you are running no mods on your Euro Truck Simulator 2 profile that you are going to want to use. Same with ATS, do not run any mods on a profile that you are going to use for Truckers MP. So the best thing I can advise you guys is to create a new profile overall that you are going to use your Truckers, that you are going to use Truckers MP. So create a new profile. Don't corrupt your saved game where you've got a bunch of mods on. Create a new saved game. Get a loan, buy a truck, get everything set so you can play both offline to play online with. Only official DLCs are supported, so you don't have to disable your DLCs, you can leave them on, but make sure you disable all mods on your profile, or as I said, just create a new profile overall. So after you have installed all of the available updates, just click launch ETS2 or ATS, depending on which one you want to play, and let it load up. As it's going through the start screen, make sure you watch this logo set up, and make sure it says euro truck simulator 2 multiplayer make sure you see that multiplayer if it isn't then you are obviously playing the wrong version make sure it says multiplayer at the bottom so you now have this pop-up box where it says log into your account so as i said you are just going to want to you just want to sign in with your truckers mp account details so again uh, i've got my email up here which is blurred out because i don't want you knowing my address uh, so if you can't write the at symbol for some reason then do what I said write it down in a in a notepad and then copy it over type in your password that should be normal and then make sure you click the remember me box so then when you come back onto truckers mp you do not have to write your email and password again so do that but if you are on a family computer or something like that that everyone uses then i recommend you untick that because obviously people can steal your account or accidentally click login onto your truckers mp account so make sure you depending on which computer you're using i've got my own personal computer so i'm going to leave it to remember me but if you're using a family computer that you all use and you play truckers mp on that computer then untick it and make sure that no one can use your account and do anything with it before you also go on to the game you might want to check some settings that you have so go through all of the settings make sure you've tweaked everything to what you want it to be 
and once you've done all of that just click apply okay and then you should be good to log in also when you log in you might get some like game rules updates so make sure you read through them and then when you have done that you just want to do i have read uh, and agree to the truckers mp rules so i'm just going to do that now okay i have read them it looks completely fine so and then when you click uh, login or whatever i've accepted you will get this now it says select a server so depending on the where you are from you might get different things now over here in europe you we have europe one which is a simulation but you might see these things right here some like icons now this is saying that collisions are available and the speed limiter is enabled okay now the speed limiter is what restricts you to 55 or 56 miles an hour which is 90k so now on something like europe 2 that will be disabled so if you are starting out and you don't know anything about euro truck you want to play it online then i recommend you go on europe 1 because i mean collisions are enabled but you are but you have that speed limiter on also why i say to go on europe 1 2 is because um there's not many people in there except for europe 2 where there's like 3,000 people in there and the speed limiter is not enabled you can have cars as well and collisions are also enabled so select the server you want so as you can see here europe 3 no cars i believe this one doesn't have cars either the europe 1 because there's no car icon but Europe 4 is free roam where cars are allowed and I'm guessing trucks are going to be enabled too. So select the server you want to go on. I usually go on Europe 2 now because it looks pretty full. I'm just going to go on Europe 1 for, tu for tutorial purposes. And then once you've clicked that, you'll be taken to the Euro Truck Simulator 2 launch pad that we all know and love. And basically from here, it's basically Euro Truck. Only difference is you're online rather than offline. But what i must say to you guys is that you can't go and take a quick job you only have to go to the freight market and pick a job that way so if you don't see any jobs there then go to a rest stop sleep a couple of times and then go back onto the freight market and then you should see jobs uh, and then you should see jobs rolling in and uh yeah that's basically it trailers are enabled as well guys like the new update i mean you don't necessarily have to have a trailer like i don't so that's completely fine you can just go and pick up a trailer you can go with the trailer and pick up a cargo so it's completely up to you you don't have to do you like you as i say you don't have to um buy the trailers if you don't want to so as Basically, all I'm saying is from here, you're basically on Euro Truck Simulator 2. The only difference is you're online and you can't go to the quick job freight market. So guys, this should work for you guys because I've literally had to uninstall Truckers MP to go through it with you guys. So if I hit a problem, then I will tell you guys how to solve that problem. So I've had to reinstall Truckers MP through this tutorial, making sure I do every single step and telling you all there is that all, all there is you need to know. The only thing I haven't done is logged out with Truckers MP and logged back in because I can't show you the authentication process and I don't really think I want to because it might give away some of my Steam information that I don't want to give away. I mean, I could blur it, but that would just take forever. So basically, guys. Do everything that I just shown you. Make sure you make an account on Truckers MP2 and you should be set to go. So I hope this tutorial did help you out. If it did, then please leave a like. That'll be awesome. Also subscribe if you are new and if you want to see more tutorials or um, trucking career videos, which I do as well, or any videos that I do on my channel, like vlogs as well. And subscribe also if, you, if it helped you out. And make sure we hit that magical 1,000 subscribers, hopefully by the end of this year or sometime next year i would love to get a thousand subscribers and just thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching my content turn on notifications as well to get notified every time i put out a new video and i'll see you guys in that next video but until then take care and peace out <laughs>